Okay, so working on your own mindset is about improving how you deal with your emotions on a day-to-day -day basis. So what I'd like to do is recommend a book. This is something that's changed my life and something that's changed many of my clients' lives. So have you ever had anyone piss you off? Of course you have. Have you ever got really angry and you've got a voice in your head telling you what you're gonna say to the person when you see them, and then for some reason, you didn't actually see that person the next day for whatever reason, and you realize that most of the stuff that was actually in your head was completely stupid, and you think, thank God for that, I didn't tell them. So what the chimp paradox does is suggests that you've got three brains. So you've got your monkey brain, or your chimp brain, human brain, and you've got your computer brain. So what it does is helps you understand how to use these brains uh, to be able to deal with emotion. So we know that the chimp, it's super strong, it's much stronger than the human brain, so basically the chimp is very reactive it's going to fire into lots of emotion and that's going to be much more powerful than the human brain the human brain gets overtaken by the chimp and that if the chimp is in place your emotions your anger being pissed off it can't your human brain can't even act until the chimp has calmed down once the chimp has calmed down then the human brain can take over and this is like, for example, when you're angry and then the next day you were fine and you think, what the hell was I even thinking? That's because your chimp has calmed down and then your human brain can take over. So we end up going through this battle through our life where chimp kicks off, human brain tries to battle the chimp and why am I thinking this way? Why am I being angry? Why have I got gym anxiety? Why am I being stressed? Why am I pissed off with that person? And your chimp takes over and then when it calms down, you, your human brain takes over and you end up with this up and down of both. Now what the chimp paradox does is teaches you how to use your computer brain to be able to beat the chimp brain because it's much faster. So the first thing it teaches you to do is put your computer brain in place which will beat the chimp brain. Okay, So it puts automatic mechanisms in place which are much much faster than the chimp, chimp brain. So basically when you, the first thing it does is when your chimp brain kicks off your human brain goes ah I remember I've got this chimp which is kicking off all the time, I'll just wait until it chills out, goes to bed, and then the computer brain can take over. So that's an automatic mechanism. The book then goes into detail on real strong emotions like jealousy and, and anger and frustration and various things within your life, and then it has gremlins, which is things that have been built up over years and it helps you get over them. And it, it really, really changed my life and it could change your life too. So what I'd do is I'd recommend this book is your first book before you do any of the other books that are out there. Get it read. I prefer to listen because I'm dyslexic, so I use Audible, but there's many Audible platforms out there where you can listen to. It's basically the first book in my Empowered Mindset Blueprint, and it's basically a reading list of all the books that I've read throughout the years that I'd highly recommend, and I recommend to my clients to help them change their mindset as quick as possible so you can save a bit of time. It took me about a decade to read all these books, so you get the top 20. So these books will give you a, a much happier, more content, and a much more solid mindset.